Hello, it's Sonia here, The Pretty Stitch. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, I'm so happy to have you here. So today, we are going to be making a shawl. And to do this project, I am using my G hook or 4.25 millimeter hook. And I'm going to be using some thread here. So like a lace weight yarn. Now you could certainly use a variety of yarns and hook sizes. You don't have to use lace yarn if you don't want to, um, or a, you know this size hook. You can definitely play around with it. Just keep in mind, um, you know, if you're using a different yarn and different size hook, then your shawl size will be a little bit different than mine. All right, so we are going to get started with this project. So what we're gonna do is we're going to chain two and we are going to work five single crochet in the second chain from our hook. Okay, so I have my five single crochet. I am going to chain three and turn my work for row two. And my first chain three is going to count as a double crochet. So right back in that same stitch, we're going to work a double crochet. And then we're going to continue to work two double crochet in each stitch for row two, and we will have 10 double crochet. So there is my last stitch. Now since I'm using this larger hook with this thinner yarn, it's going to result in a more like open stitch, which is what I'm going for. All right, and I'm just pulling that closed there. So that is row two, we have 10 double crochet. Okay, so let's begin row three. We are going to chain five and turn our work. Okay, so we have our chain five, we've turned our work. So that is gonna consist of a double crochet and a chain two space, and now we're going to double crochet in our next stitch. And now we're going to start our repeat for the rest of the row. We're going to chain two and double crochet in the next stitch all the way across. So chain two, double crochet in our next stitch. And we're just going to keep going. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row. It's my last chain two, and we are going to double crochet on top of that first chain three, because it counts as a double crochet to complete row three. So at the end of row three, you're going to have nine chain two spaces for row three. So let's get ready for row four. Row four, we're gonna chain three and turn our work. And in that first chain two space, we're going to work a shell. And our shell is going to be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And I love shell stitches. I think they're so pretty. 
and they work great for shawls. So there's our chain two and then two double crochet. And then that will be one shell. So there is our first shell. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain five. We're going to skip the next chain two space right here and we're gonna work a shell in the next one. And we're gonna repeat that around. So we're gonna work our shell, chain two. So here's our, sh our sh we're still working the shell. So the shell is two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. There's different types of shells. This is not the only way to make a shell. So we've made that shell. We're going to chain five. And we're going to skip this next chain two space and then work the shell. So we're going to do this all the way across. So I'm going to keep going here working my shell and my chain five and then I'll show you how to finish up the end of the row. Okay, so I'm almost to the end of my row. So I've chained five. We're skipping this chain two space. So this was that chain five that we had made for row three. So it's already starting to form that chain two space and that double crochet. So we're going to work a shell in there. So that two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And then to finish up the row, you're going to work a double crochet on top of the chain three. So I usually just like to count from the bottom. So one, two, and three. She's a little twisted, but there is that. And just grab a loop and pop that double crochet in to form that double crochet. So there we go. There is row four. We have one, two, three, four chain five spaces. So let's get ready to work row five. So we are going to chain three and turn our work and all of our rows will begin with a chain three. So chain three, turn our work. So now in this first shell in that chain two space, we're going to work another shell. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So there we go, there is our shell. We're going to chain five again. And we're going to work in the next shell. So you're gonna skip this chain five space and work a shell in that next chain two space. And then we will chain five again and we're gonna repeat this across. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in that chain two space and we're chaining five and then I'm going to work my shell and the next shell in that chain two space chain five all the way across so I'm going to do that I'll meet you back at okay so we finished up row five there I think it's looking really pretty. Okay, so row six, we're going to chain three and turn our work. And we're going to work a shell in that 
chain two space there. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to chain three. And we're going to single crochet around these next two chain five spaces. So just got my chain three, taking my hook, and I'm just gonna single crochet around those two chains. And we're gonna chain three. So it just pinches them together and now I'm going to work a shell in that next chain two space. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. We'll do, be doing a lot of those in this pattern. Okay, so now we're going to chain three again. more yarn here and we are going to work that single crochet around those two chain five loops there we're pinching them together with that single crochet we're going to chain three and then work that shell and that chain two space so we're going to repeat that across so you're going to work your shell and your chain two space chain three single crochet these together, chain three again, and then work the shell. And we'll do that all the way across. I'm gonna meet you back at the end of round, uh, row six, not rounds, rows. Okay, so I'm almost at the end of row six here. So I've worked in that last shell, that chain two space. So on top of that first chain three, we're going to work our double crochet. So sometimes it can be a little hard, just grab a loop, grab one of those top loops and it will be fine. Okay, so there we go. There is our row six. So now we're ready to begin row seven. So we are going to chain three and turn our work. And in our first shell, we are going to work another shell. So in that chain two space, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So we worked that first shell, so now we're going to chain three again. And we're going to single crochet in that around that first chain three space. We're going to chain three again. And we're going to single crochet in the next chain three space right there. And we're going to chain three again. So we work three chain threes after that shell. Now we're going to shell in that next shell in that next chain two space, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And now we're going to chain three and we're going to single crochet around that next chain three space. So we're working those three chain threes again. So chaining three and single crocheting around. So it's three chain threes, two single crochet. And chain three, that final one. So there you go, three, 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 two single crochet, and then the shell in the next chain two space. So we're going to repeat this across. So you're going to shell in your chain two spaces and then work 
those three chain three and the two single crochet. So I'll meet you back at the end of row seven. Okay, so I've worked in that last shell. And so what you're gonna do is when you worked in that last chain two space, you're going to single crochet, or not single crochet, I'm sorry, double crochet on top of that chain three. And you're always going to be doing that for this pattern. So I've worked that double crochet. So there we go, there is row seven there. So let's begin row eight. So row eight, we will chain three and turn our work. And we're going to work a shell in that first shell. So in that next chain two space, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So we've worked our shell there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to chain five. So we have our five chains and we're gonna skip the next chain three space and in the next one we're gonna work a shell. So that center chain three space, you're working in that shell. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And we're going to chain five. And we're going to shell in the next shell. In that next chain two space, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So that's what we're looking like so far. So now we are gonna repeat that. We're gonna chain five again. And we're going to skip the next chain three space and shell in the next one. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And then we'll chain five again and shell in the next shell. And you're gonna repeat that across. So I am going to go do that. So I'm gonna finish up my shell. I'm gonna chain five, and then I'm gonna work that shell in that next chain two space, chain five, and work the shell in that center chain three space. So I'll meet you back. Okay, so I'm almost done round eight. I've got my last shell. I'm just going to double crochet on top of that chain three there, just grabbing a loop and working my double crochet. And there we go. So you're going to have eight chain five spaces there. So now we're ready for row nine. So row nine is going to be a repeat of row five. So you're going to chain three, turn your work, and just a quick refresh. You're going to work your shell in your next shell. You're going to chain five again. So just chain five right across this chain five shell in the next shell, the next chain two space, chain five, shell in the next, chain five. So you're just gonna work your chain fives on top of the previous chain fives for row nine. So I'm gonna do that and I'll meet you back. Okay, I'm finishing up row nine. I've got my last double crochet on top of my chain three. Of course I made that chain three nice and tight. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. There is our row nine. So row 10 is gonna be a repeat of row six where we're going to work the single crochet around the two chains, the chain three, and then the single crochet to pinch them together. So chaining three, turning our work, 
working our first shell in that chain two space, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And we're going to chain three. And we're going to single crochet around those two chains, pinching them together and chaining three again and working the shell in the next chain two space. So we're going to do that. Oh, we have a tangle. Lovely. We're going to do that all the way across. So you're going to shell in your chain two spaces. You're going to chain three, single crochet around those two chains, chain three again, shell in the next. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. And of course you'll shell in your last shell, chain two space there, and work your double crochet on top of that chain three. So I'll meet you back at the end of row 10. Okay, so we finished up row 10 there. You can see it's taking shape pretty quickly. So row 11 is going to be a repeat of row 9. Actually rows 11 and 12 we're going to be repeating row 9. So that's going to be your chain 3, turning your work. You're going to shell in your first shell in that chain 2 space. You're going to chain 5 and shell in the next one. And then chain 5 again, shell in the next one all the way across. And then row 12, you're going to just repeat row 11, which is repeating row 9. And then row 13, you're going to repeat row 10, which is the shell in the first shell, chain 3, pinching those two chain 5 spaces together with your single crochet and chaining 3 and working your shell in the next chain two space. So I'm going to meet you back at the end of row 13. Okay, so here we go. I finished up row 13. So what we're going to want to do is repeat rows 7 through 13. So row 7, I'll just begin in case you need a refresh. Chaining 3, turning our work. We're going to work that shell in that first chain two space like we've been doing. And then what we do is we're going to work that those three chain three. So it's chain three, single crochet around the next chain three again, single crochet in the next, and then chain three, and then work your shell. And you're going to do that all the way across. And then you work the chain fives, and then you work that shell in that center chain three, and then chain five. So rows seven, this we're repeating rows seven through 13. So the row seven is the increase row where this, it helps us to grow. I'm going to go, and you're just going to keep repeating rows 7 through 13. I'm not sure for how many rows, so next time I see you this will be a whole lot bigger. So I will meet you back. Okay, so here is my shawl. And as you can see, it is a whole lot bigger. I have worked 38 rows so far. And the more that you get into this with your increasing, you'll see that it starts to kind of make like a ruffle on the bottom. So I've worked 38 rows. So now what we're going to do is going to make kind of like a border, but we're still going to incorporate some of the same stitch pattern. We're just not going to increase anymore. So I ended on 10. So I ended on a row 10 here. So that's what you're going to want to do. You, we've repeated rows 7 through 13. 
but you're going to end on a row 10 before you start the border. So what the border is going to be is you're going to be repeating rows 11 through 13. And you're just going to keep repeating those rows. And then your very last row, we're just going to do something a little bit different just to kind of give it a, a little bit more of a finish. So those rows 11 through 13 are, it's going to look like this. So here, this kind of, this is like the bow stitch here kind of looks like a bow. So you're just going to be repeating. You're going to have a whole bunch of bows and it should help with the ruffling. So it's not so ruffled, but I do think the ruffling is actually kind of pretty. Um, so I actually don't hate that at all. I actually kind of like it, but I don't want it to be quite as roughly. So we're not going to increase anymore. We're just going to repeat rows 11 through 13. So I'm not sure how many rows of bows I want to have. I think I want to have, so here like these, I think I want to have at least four. Um, so I will work those and then I will meet you back. And you can work as many as you want. Like if you really want a nice, you know, wide, super wide border, you can, you know, work a whole bunch of those bows. Or if you don't want to have that many, you could just, um, you know, have two rows. It's, you know, completely up to you. You can definitely customize this pattern if you don't want to work till row 38, especially if you're using a heavier yarn and you don't want a super crazy long shawl. Um, this one isn't that long, but this is thread weight here. So it's 100% cotton. So it will grow when it's blocked and I do highly recommend um, if you're using a natural fiber when you're stitching this up to block your project when it's done so you can really open up these lacy stitches and see it. But I'm really happy with how it's turning out so far. And so I'm going to uh, work a lot more rows. So I'm going to re be repeating rows 11 through 13. And then when you think you've worked enough of your border, um, you're going to end on row 12 and then that last row will be a little bit different than the row 13 that we had been doing. So I'm going to do that and I will meet you back. So here we go. We have a finished shawl. So what you needed to do is repeat rows 11 through 13. So create these little bows. And before you work your last row, you're going to want to end on a row 12. And then I'll tell you how to work your last row. It's just a slight variation of row 13. So I had wanted to have four rows of bows, but I actually made this for a fair uh, and I had a deadline to enter. <laughs> so we only got three rows of bows, but I think it's really pretty. And I did win first place, so there's that. Um, so I was happy about that because I was crocheting my fingers off to get this done. So for your last row, what you will need to do is, okay, so you're going to start by working your chain three like normal. And then instead of working the shell of the two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, in that chain two space, you're gonna work six double crochet. So we have, I have worked six double crochet in there. Then you're going to continue to chain three and you're going to single crochet around those two chains to create the bow, chain three again, and then you're going to work the six double crochet in the next chain two space. And you just repeat that all the way across. So it just gives it a little bit more of a finished edge. So I ended up working a total of 44 rows. Now again, you could work more um, or maybe worked less but as you can see it just kind of gives it a little bit of a border just having bow on top of bow and again I did want to have more bows but I was running out of time but I do think it's really pretty I really am happy with using the thread weight yarn it really is a very lacy project it still has a slight ruffle on the bottom which I like I think it turned out really really beautiful I'm very happy with this project um, and of course, when you're done, you will need to weave in any loose ends. And I did block this. It did need a block because I used the cotton weight thread. Um, but 
and then it's all set to go. So I hope you enjoyed this project, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.